we're moving on now. As the Nigerian Baptist Church wraps up the 108th annual convention in session, the denomination has adopted a Reverend Dr. Israel Akonji as the new president. The outgun president, Reverend Dr. Samson Ayogunle, while giving his valedictory speech, admonished the new administration. The new president also gave his acceptance speech. The grace of God are the fullness of time. That is the title of my charge to all of you new officers, or those of you who are returning for second time. As workers together with him, I plead with you, as I'm also pleading, not to receive the grace of God in vain. You have been doing your best. But you need to challenge yourself that your past best is not good enough for this office. In view of this, I hereby accept the call of God to serve as the president of our great Nigerian Baptist Convention in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, meanwhile, former President Olusegun Obasanjo says the myriad of challenges confronting Nigeria will not consume the country. The former president made a remarks during the just-concluded Nigerian Baptist Convention in Ogun State, where Governor Dabo Abiodu and his or your state counterpart, Shei Makinde, also called for peace, unity, and an end to violence in the country. I am an incurable optimist about a number of things, but particularly about Nigeria. We must continue to pray for God's blessings upon our land so that our people will live in constant abundance of every good thing. Most importantly, we must reject the violence. Without missing words, the prevailing situation in our country has made it mandatory for the state and other institutions responsible for mass mobilization and socialization at the church to continue to work hand in hand so as to present a united front defeating the sundry challenges currently confronting our country, particularly in security. The church should continue to seek the face of God for the unity and economic sustainability of our country. This is indeed a trying period for us as a country. There's restlessness all over the place. We also have economic difficulties. We're faced with economic challenges. But as your government and your representative, we will not be deterred. Yeah, the issue of uh, insecurity, It's a very big uh, challenge. We need prayer. We need you to continue to pray for the leaders in this country and to continue to do your bit because the government alone cannot do it. So, my charge to you as I wind up is that when you see something, you must say something and you must let the people in authority know where there are gaps. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.